Hey guys, it's Maddie, and for today's video, I am joined here with my puppy Ellie, and we are going to be making her some healthy summer popsicles. So if you are into making your dog really adorable, like summer treats, stick around and you guys can make them with us. All right, so since I don't really go by like recipes or anything when I'm cooking, I'm just gonna kind of wing this, but here's what I'm using and you guys can use what I use or you can change up the recipe by using other kinds of fruits and vegetables. I'm just using what I know my dogs like. Just make sure you like leave out ingredients that are like toxic to dogs obviously, so don't use like large amounts of raspberries. Don't use any grapes or cherries or raisins um, or chocolate. <laughs> So just look up a, a list of dog safe foods. I'll link something below so you guys can look it up and kind of make your own recipe. So here's what I'm doing. Let's go. All right, so here's all the ingredients and supplies that I'm using. So I have these little extra cups for anything extra that I can't fit into the popsicle mold since I'm planning on making more than just like two. And then I've got a measuring cup, a knife to slice the banana, and then I've got a fresh banana, some frozen strawberries, because my dad ate all of my fresh strawberries, raw organic extra virgin coconut oil, and some fermented raw goat's milk. Also, if you're wondering, raw goat's milk is great for dogs. It's full of probiotics, and it really helps with allergies, and they're even testing it to subdue the effects of cancer. So, yeah, let's get started. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to dump three quarters of a cup of strawberries into the blender. And then I'm going to take my banana and I'm going to slice half of the banana in there. That was nice. Thank you for falling onto my counter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil. This coconut oil is melted because my house is literally so hot. It's also, there's coconut oil all over the jar and I can't open it. Oh my god, there we go. So coconut oil is really good for dog skin and coat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the goat's milk. So I'm going to shake it up to break up any of the large cultures in there. And I'm not being precise with this, so I'm going to do... There's one cup. And that looks like it'll do it. Let's blend this up and see what we get. Alrighty. Now I'm going to pour it into the popsicle mold. So you can get these at like the dollar store for like a dollar. I probably got mine from the grocery store, honestly. You can also put this in Dixie cups and use like carrots or bully sticks as handles. And then I'm just going to dump the extra into these little like Dixie cups, but you can also put it into like an ice cube tray or something. Just really anything you want to do. And if you don't have goat's milk, you can use water, which is perfectly all right. The recipe I just used made about 11 popsicles, so nine small ones and two large ones. Now we're just going to put them in the freezer overnight and then we'll check on them in the morning. All right guys, so it is the next day and I just got my popsicles out of the freezer and it's time to give them to the pups. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. If you want to get notified every single time I upload, you can click the notification bell. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!